Hello, trader. Steve Gans here, and welcome back to Greek number two theta in the Options Trading 101 multi-part series. So we're going to take a, a little uh, dive into theta today. And before we do that, I just want to refresh what are Option Greeks. If you watched the prior sessions, you know this, but I'm going to recap this in each one in case someone watches these independently. Greeks are an option trader's instrument cluster, much uh, a pilot of an airplane is looking at their instrument panel. The Greeks help you understand and model how variations in stock price, volatility, days to expiration, etc., are all going to impact your options position. They can be determined by a number of formulas, including Black-Scholes, Binomial, Trinomial, and others. Most options platforms will give a person the ability to select which one they want to use. Black-Scholes is probably the most common one used out there. The two most common are Black-Scholes and Binomial. Again, Black-Scholes is probably a little more common. And it's important to know that Greeks vary with the size of your position in most cases. Let's dig into theta. Theta is essentially the equivalent of time decay, but measures the rate of change of an option's price with respect to the passage of time. Theta is the extrinsic value, and if you're unsure what that one is, go back a couple of sessions here in the 101 series to see more about intrinsic, extrinsic values. But theta is the extrinsic value of an option eroding in our favor if we're short those options and against us if we are long the options. Theta is a dynamic measure, meaning that it changes as the time to expiration and volatility changes. And we're going to look at some examples of that here in a moment. Theta is negative for long options and positive for short options. This is because the value of an option decreases as time passes. So long options holders are going to lose money as time decays. And again, if I'm a short options holder, I'm going to be making money as time decays. Theta is a useful tool to those of us that are options traders because it helps us understand and manage our risk. As an example, if a trader's long a call option with a theta of a negative $1.50, this means that the value of the option is going to decrease by $1.50 each day as that option gets closer and closer to expiration. Now, that amount actually speeds up as you get closer to expiration, and we're going to look at that in a moment. But all things being equal, it's basically a measure that shows us how things are going to decay. And this helps the trader understand and determine how much risk or profit potential they have in trading a given option. As with anything in options, there are trade-offs. What are the trade-offs with theta? The, the main trade-offs with theta is external forces such as volatility, if that remains constant, Theta decay happens at an exponentially increasing rate as options get closer to expiration. We're going to look at a diagram of that in a moment. Shorter dated options and options closer to expiration are going to decay much faster. The trade-off is that these closer dated options have much higher gamma. And while we haven't covered gamma yet, we're going to do that in a subsequent series. That's essentially the rate at which the underlying price movement will impact the option's price. As gamma gets higher, a, an equal movement in the underlying is going to impact your option's price more. We'll explore that more as we get into gamma. As an option gets closer to expiration, there is less extrinsic value in that option. So nearly all options price movement becomes more directly related or directly correlated to the movement of the underlying symbol, which essentially means that the options price is going to move more in sync with the price of the underlying asset as that option decays and gets closer to expiration. Again, theta essentially equals time. The theta value tells us how much decay is happening per day a theta value of 450 means the position is decaying at the rate of 450 a day, assuming all else is equal. And this is what that decay curve looks like. The closer you get to expiration, this is time to expiration, the closer we get to expiration, the faster 
that's going to decay. It may be 450 per day here, and then we get to the next day, and it may be $6, and then we get to the next day, and it may be $9. The closer we get to expiration, the faster it decays. The main reason for that is the closer you get to expiration, the less time there actually is for things to impact the price of that stock and therefore the price of its corresponding options. Okay, so now I want to go and essentially go to the lab, which is Option Strat, and I'm going to open up an Option Strat position here, and we're going to take a look specifically at Theta and see what happens with Theta. In this particular position, I have modeled being short put. And if I look at theta, I can see that my theta is a positive $9.15. So that means at this point, this option expires February 14th, which is 36 days in advance. At this moment, this option is decaying, all things being equal, at $9 a day. So if I am short this option, I'm essentially picking up $9 a day but that's going to accelerate the closer that I get to expiration. And we'll see here, if I go and I move this bar, we can see how that moves, that theta decays. This T0 line is decaying in our favor. And if we come back and take a look here, we can see that while this is 36 days out, if I go roughly halfway here of, let's see, halfway is going to be about 15, 16, 18 days. So if I go 18 days, we can see that I've decayed a little bit, but in order to get halfway through my decay, which is the dotted line here, I'm going to be much, much closer. I'm only going to be, in this case, about 28 days in. So this other half of the decay is happening within the last eight days. So we're basically seeing how the decay happens now much faster as we get closer to expiration. So now that we have a sense of what happens if we are short an option, let's see what happens if I were long, in this case, a put. I could come in here, I can change this to being long a put. And we can see here that if I'm long a put, I'm essentially paying $9 a day to keep that put in place. So I have to recognize and understand that if I think Apple's going to go down and I go and I buy this put with the thought that Apple's going to go down, if it doesn't start going down fairly quickly, I may want to rethink my strategy or close out that position. Because again, the later we get into that position, the faster it's going to decay to where it finally gets to where in the last few days of that trade, it might be decaying by the rate of $15, $20, $50 a day. So I need to keep that in mind. Now, in Option Strat, this is one of the few tools that actually allows you to do this. I can also come down here and I can specifically select Theta and I can model specifically what my Theta decay looks like. And again, this T0 line sort of models this out. And I can see right now, with 36 days to expiration, I'm decaying at that $9.15 per day rate. But as we get closer and closer to expiration, we can see that theta decay increases dramatically. And here we're up to about, let's see, that theta decay is up to about $18 a day, somewhere in that general range. And as we get closer yet, again, we get all the way up to in those final days, we're decaying at about $82 a day. So we can see the entire process of how theta decays faster the closer we get to that expiration time. That's going to wrap up this particular overview of theta decay and look for the next 101 series coming up soon. Take care, everyone.